This is going to be a video on how to work a tubular cast on in the round. We're going to need a crochet hook, some waste yarn or working yarn, and because I'm working in the round, I'm going to do it over two 24 inch needles. So I have two circular needles here. You could do it on magic loop or DPNs as well, but for this example, I'm going to use the two 24 inch needles. So when you're casting on using this method, we're going to start by working a provisional cast on uh, with the crochet method. When the, this particular method for tubular cast on, we're only going to need to cast on half the number of the total number of stitches that we're going to need. So for example, if we needed 48 stitches on our cast on, we would work 24 stitches with the crocheted cast on. I'm just going to do 20 in this situation so that it moves along a little faster and we can see what's happening. So you start with your provisional yarn and one of your knitting needles and the crochet hook. We're going to make a slip knot in the provisional yarn so you and you want your provisional yarn to be smooth so that it's easy to pull out in the end. Don't use something that's really fuzzy. That won't work well. So we make a slip knot, put it on the crochet hook, and that'll pull out later. Then I make just a couple of chain stitches, regular crochet chain to get started. Then we're going to um, start by placing the yarn underneath the, cro the knitting needle. We have the knitting needle on top of the yarn, the crochet hook down here. You reach across the knitting needle and grab the yarn and pull it through. Now it doesn't matter whether you pull it through if you grab it this way or if you grab it this way, it doesn't matter. It produces the same results for this purpose. So now we have one stitch on our knitting needle. Take the yarn to the back, around the back of the knitting needle, bring the crochet hook across the front, and grab the yarn and pull it through again. Now we have two. We're going to do, I'm going to do this 20 times. It doesn't matter if they're too loose or too tight, these are gonna come out in the end that's why it's called a provisional cast on. It's just temporary. Always taking the provisional yarn to the back, around the back of the needle, the crochet hook across the front, grab the yarn, pull it through. Now I have 19. My goal was to have 20. So I'm going to go ahead and do the very last one. Now I have 20. Now some people will tell you when you're doing a crocheted cast on to take this last loop and put it over the tip of the needle. Do not do that. You won't be able to remove it later. It causes a problem. So just crochet a couple chains here. Pull it through. Trim. Cut the end here. Pull that end through the loop. Not, not real tight, you just want to keep it from coming out. Now we've got our uh, 20 provisional stitches on here and I'm going to divide half of them onto the other knitting needle. So I have my two circulars. They're going to have 10 on each needle. And I'm slipping them just point to point. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 on each needle. 
10 and 10. So over here, now we these this yarn is not going to be our working yarn. It's just temporarily on here to hold the stitches. Now we're going to start with our working yarn. That's going to be the white yarn. So this is where we actually start the tubular cast on. And what we're going to do is we're going to knit into the stitch and then we're going to yarn over. Then knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, whoops, knit, yarn over, knit. So we're doubling our stitches here. Now we're going to have twice as many stitches, which is the count that we wanted to have to begin with. Remember, we just cast on half of our total number. Now when we get to the last stitch on this needle, we have to make our knit, and we need to make a yarn over. So go ahead and make the yarn over. Well, if you're working on two circulars, you're going to hold that over that needle, pull your needle through, bring the other needle up into action, Grab the other end of that needle. We've got the yarn over right there. And we're going to knit one yarn over across this needle. This is the last one, and we've got to remember to make that yarn over. Now we have 40 stitches on here instead of the 20 provisional cast on. Here's our stitches. We've got 20 on each needle. We're going to move, this is where we put our last, the last stitch on, which is the yarn over right there. We're going to make our next stitch right over here, so we've got to pull this needle up into action. Pull this one onto the cable. Pull this one into action. With our working yarn, now we're going to do our first round of the tubular knitting. We're going to knit the first stitch and pull it tight. It's okay if this tails here. We're going to tighten it. Pull it tight with the other needle here. It's kind of all sloppy right now, but it'll come together. Bring the yarn to the front. Slip the yarn over purlwise, tip to tip. Take the yarn to the back. Knit the knit stitch. Bring the yarn to the front slip the yarn over. Each one of these yarn overs in the next round will become a purl stitch. So you knit one, bring the yarn to the front, slip one, bring the yarn to the back, knit one, bring the yarn to the front, slip one, bring the yarn to the back, knit one, and so on until you come to the end of the round. Okay, we finished that first round. Now we're ready to start the second round. This is a two round pattern. So that was round one, round one. We knit one, bring the yarn forward, slip one. Take the yarn to the back, knit one, bring the yarn forward, slip one. This round will do the opposite. With the yarn in the back, we will slip the previously knit stitch, just slip it straight over. Do not slip it knitwise. Bring the yarn to the front, purl one. Take the yarn to the back, slip one. Bring the yarn to the front, purl one. Take the yarn to the back, slip one. And see, I'm slipping point to point 
I'm not slipping knitwise. And you're going to do that to the end of the round. Now we have completed round one and round two. And we've got our stitches on our needles ready to start round three. Round three is the same as round one. So we're just repeating round one, which means we're knitting the first stitch, bring the yarn forward, slip the second stitch. Take the yarn to the back, knit, forward, slip. Knit, forward, slip. Knit, forward, slip until we come to the end of the round again. And this is the beginning of the fourth round. This is the round that's same as round two. So we slip the first stitch straight over with the yarn in the back, bring the yarn forward, purl one, yarn back, slip one, yarn forward, purl one, yarn back, slip one, yarn forward, purl one, and so on to the end of the round. Now I've completed that fourth round. So we have the setup round, which was knit one yarn over, knit one yarn over all the way around. Then round one was knit one, move the yarn forward, slip one, repeat around. Round two was with the yarn in the back, slip one, move the yarn forward, purl one, and repeat around. And then you repeat those two rounds. So we've got four rounds done here which looks like two stitches because each round you're slipping half the stitches. Then we're going to switch at this point to knit one, purl one ribbing. So we're just going to work in your regular standard knit one, purl one ribbing for several rounds, however long you want your ribbing to be. I'm gonna work it for a few rounds and then we'll see, take a look and see how it looks. So here we are after three rounds of knit one, purl one ribbing on top of the tubular rounds. By the way, those tubular rounds are a four, the same as double knitting because you're making two layers of fabric, but that's a whole nother story. But this is what we've got right now. It looks really good. We're ready to take out this provisional cast on, the crocheted cast on. So what we've got to do is find the end where we Put our last chain stitch and we pulled that strand through to keep it from coming undone and we'll just undo that strand pull it out so now we've got our live chain there and what we're going to do is pull that chain out we're just going to pull on it like this and you'll see it slide out this is why you don't want to use a fuzzy yarn needs to be a nice slippery yarn that'll just pull right out. And we'll get even down to where we have our slip knot and the slip knot will come out. This pulls all the way out and this is the edge that we have remaining. This tubular edge and it just looks like the stitches just roll right over the edge and it's just really, really pretty. You can also convert this to knit two, purl two ribbing, but I'm not showing that in this video. That'll be another video. There you go. Happy knitting.